Before we get into trivia, it's time to throw it over to Mikey P with your Rangers Ed 150, the fastest 150 seconds in the National Hockey Podcast League. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Rangers Ed 150. Shout out to Alexander Ovechkin, who scored his 800th goal against the Blackhawks Tuesday night and is now one goal away from passing Gordy Howe for most goals of all time. Around the league, out west in the Pacific Division, Vegas still sits in that number one spot atop the division, mainly due to extremely mediocre play across the board from every team in the Pacific. After Vegas' big win against Boston in Boston last week, they've gone 2-2, two two, losing to the Rangers and Bruins and beating Philly in Winnipeg. Bad news for the Golden Knights, though, with Jack Eichel hitting long-term injured reserve with a lower body injury. Eichel will miss at least seven days, so we'll see what happens after a week passes. LA has caught up to Seattle in points at that number two spot after Seattle dropped three of their last four. But the Kraken have four games in hand over the Kings, so it shouldn't be a problem for them to retake that number two spot. Lots of talk surrounding the Canucks captain, Bo Horvat, with Horvat reportedly rejecting the Canucks' most recent contract offer. Horvat is a pending RFA at the end of the season, so watch out for teams like Boston to be a major contender in the Horvat sweepstakes, sweepstakes as the trade deadline approaches. In the Central Division, St. Louis Blues are once again trash. They're 1-2 since we last talked, 3-6-1 through their last 10, while Minnesota have crept up to into third place with 7-3-0 record through their last 10. Dallas is sitting in first place, two points clear of the Jets, but the Jets have two games in hand on the Stars, and despite dropping their last two, they are 7-3-1 through their last 10. The Jets' defense are a combined plus 20, and Josh Morrissey has put an impressive five goals and 27 assists through 28 games this season, and this team is looking like they could be a tough out in the playoffs. The Colorado Avalanche, on the other hand, are not looking like the same team they were last season. Uh, they got Landis Gog and McKinnon on long-term injured reserve for the foreseeable future, and this team is relying on a lot of unproven players to get the job done in the interim. The Avs were 2-1 and one last week, but it's very unclear if they're going to be able to hold on to hold the ship together without McKinnon and Landis Gog in the lineup. Back east in the Atlantic Division, the Bruins still hold the number one spot, and they were 2-1 and one last week. The Leafs kept pace with Boston, posting a 3-0 record last week with wins over LA, Calgary, and Anaheim. And as we said last week, the Lightning also appear to have righted their strip. They got the wheels back on the bus with Anthony Sorelli back in the lineup. They also put up a, three, a perfect 3-0 record with wins over Nashville, Florida, and Seattle, and have moved up into third place ahead of the Detroit Red Wings. Finally, in the Metro Division, the New Jersey Devils are still in that number one spot, but appear to finally have stumbled, dropping their last three to the Islanders, Rangers, and Stars. Outside of the Devils, the division as a whole has done a complete 180 since we last talked, with the Rangers, Capitals, and Penguins each putting up perfect 3-0 records last week. All three teams are now carrying win streaks, with the Pens at 6, the Caps at 5, and the Rangers at 4. Don't forget about the Canes, as they were also 2-0 last week and have held on to second place in that division. Got some exciting hockey coming up this week, folks, so stay tuned for more updates next week. This has been your 150.